My name is Simon Barton. I was born in southwest London in 1960, and I moved here with my family in 1994. So I'm right now you're speaking to me in Wake Forest, which is where I'm currently living. And we have three children, all born within a year of each other, all December children as well. That's only because my wife allowed me sex once a year. Well, he made me laugh. He is very funny. He was always joking, very naughty in school. My life was um, active. I was active both socially and commercially with my business. Uh, I'm an engineer as, by trade. I'm an early riser, so I was typically up before the phones would ring at five, six o'clock every morning at my office and work until the day was done, six or seven o'clock in the evening, and then come back, collapse in front of the TV and do it all again the next day and the next day. Every day was action-packed. On May the 22nd, 2012, about 36 weeks ago, I went to work. It was an ordinary weekday. It was a Wednesday. I got a phone call because his business, my daughter worked there, my son worked there, and my son-in-law worked there. So I had three family members in the office. So I get a phone call from my daughter to say, Mom, there's something wrong with Dad. I said, what do you mean there's something wrong with him? She said, it's, she said, it's bad. And when the way she said it, she said, I think you better come. The lady on the phone was asking me a barrage of bunch of questions and I could feel myself getting a little bit dizzy and maybe not speaking as fluently as I like to think I can. She kept asking for my date of birth as a security question. And I remember repeating it over and over again. And, and every time I said it, it seemed to get harder to say. It's one of the big things I remember the most. And then all of a sudden I came across really, really tired to the point that I just suddenly fell asleep, I thought. I put the phone on the desk and fell off my chair. They obviously assessed that I had a blood clot issue that cut off some of the blood to my brain. And they, they put him into like a sort of a coma, I think. And of course, I am complete, I have no idea. I don't, I know what a stroke is, but not from personal experience, other than people that were older had them often. I didn't know that, you know, that people so young and relatively healthy and fit could get some, could have something like this. And I said, Oh, and then of course my whole world changed at that point. The second thing that was fortunate in my case is that my stroke was a what they call a right-sided stroke, which meant that I could speak reasonably well and will continue to speak reasonably well, I hope. Right hemisphere brain damage, or RHD, is a diagnostic label of a constellation of impairments that occur after a stroke to the right side of the brain. While damage to either hemisphere results in physical and cognitive challenges, the communication challenges are an important distinction. We chose to target communication in a therapeutic way with students at North Carolina Central University. The Wright Communication Group is a fairly new therapeutic group that myself and Ms. Latoria Jala, who is a clinical speech language pathologist, started last year. The purpose of that group is to enhance awareness of communication changes, but also to provide some therapeutic solutions for improving communication on a daily basis. Um, coming from a country that is notoriously wet and gloomy and drizzly and miserable all the time. When I came here in 94, um, I had a fantastic first couple of years. It was fabulous. And I thought, I, I thought how lucky I was to be here. But now I want my money back because it's, it's <laughs> turned like bloody London. It's awful. The students that I encounter usually have no experience about RHD when they enter my clinic. I'll be honest, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I kind of had this assumption that like stroke looked like, you know, right side weakness. Aphasia and the language aspects is what I was typically associating strokes with. And so it was really an interesting process to kind of like get exposed to some of the different characteristics of someone with right hemisphere damage. 